Good afternoon traders, my name is Tomasz Wyszniewski and this is daily analytical report. So a short uh, half an hour webinar where I will tell you everything what's going on on the markets and we'll try to look for decent trading uh, setups on uh, currencies, commodities, uh, indexes um, uh, and uh, others. Uh, so as always, before you start trading any day, every day, you have to check the macro calendar uh, to see if uh, there is uh, no important data for uh, your particular asset uh, because uh, it will help you to avoid times uh, when the volatility is much greater and uh, to be honest with you times with a um, lottery uh, because uh, macro data is uh, more or less a lottery and uh, we're not in a casino uh, here uh, this is the market when uh, where you can earn money uh, with uh, when you're trading with proper analysis uh, so in my opinion it's uh, better to avoid times uh, when you have um, macro data uh, release in the calendar uh, because it can affect negatively the analysis that you uh, make so guys first let's uh, see the mm, uh, the calendar as you can see we don't have any significant uh, events uh, today apart from the data uh, important for uh, the canadian dollar uh, so if you're a trader who uh, trades on a kid or on a canadian dollar you should be extra uh, sharp uh, today especially well not now but in 28 minutes when you will have um, cpi uh, which is an inflation it is a very mm, influential uh, data for uh, the currency markets apart from that we'll have a, a speech from fomc uh, member uh, kaplan which will be important for american dollar well depending what will be said there and that's it uh, before we'll talk about uh, events from yesterday uh, let me show you on the calendar next week because if you think for example about opening a position today you need to know what will happen uh, next week uh, obviously if you're thinking about opening a mid-term long-term uh, position right uh, on monday we don't have any significant events uh, for the market uh, on tuesday uh, as well as you can see it's kind of a holiday season here in the calendar on Wednesday as well, just inflation report hearings, which will be influential only for uh, British pound. It will be also a PMI's day. We'll have PMI's from Eurozone and from leading economies in Eurozone and also from United States. Uh, on Thursday, Jackson uh, Hall Symposium starts. And yes, this one uh, should have an impact. Uh, on the market so especially american dollar and stocks uh, but uh, everything what is important for american dollar has also impact uh, for the other currencies mm, and on the friday uh, jackson hall symposium continues and uh, we'll have a speech from mario draghi uh, there the symposium uh, continues over the weekend but as you can see the calendar is rather uh, empty if i would uh, show you filters and filter only uh, tier one data you will see that it's that's one of the mm, emptiest calendars i have uh, seen in, in in the history of trading and i trade for uh, the last eight years uh, but obviously uh, this week calendar wasn't so busy as well but we had some nice movements and apparently the market does not need a calendar uh, to have um, important macro events or fundamental events because we still do have politics and geopolitics and here donald trump and his administration white house is not replaceable right uh, he's uh, giving so uh, so much um, interesting um, situations on the market so many uh, many many interesting situations and events uh, to the market that uh, we cannot say that we are bored with that uh, no it's quite the opposite the market is entertained with donald trump and the history 
like from House of Cards uh, combined with Game of Thrones. That's uh, the situation right now in the uh, in the White House, and it all has influence on the American dollar uh, and uh, stocks and commodities as well. Uh, for, for example, latest uh, developments in White House caused the um, risk uh, off mode again. Uh, so and uh, aversion to the uh, American dollar. So, for example, pre uh, safe havens quoted in American dollar or safe havens against American dollar are gaining strength. Like, for example, American dollar to Japanese yen or gold, which is safe haven quoted in dollar. So, if dollar is weaker and there is a safe haven appetite. Uh, there is an appetite for safe heavens. Uh, it's not a surprise that gold is climbing higher and we are on the highest level since the elections uh, US elections. So we are on the highest level since November uh, Since the beginning of November. So that's pretty significant, but I will tell you that uh, When we will see the charts uh, obviously unfortunately well markets were uh, influenced uh, a little bit by this tragic events in in, in Barcelona um, what is well I don't want to say sad but uh, it is remarkable uh, that uh, markets do not react on that no more right we have a small reaction which is mostly caused by uh, by algos uh, uh, reading the headlines etc uh, but uh, markets uh, do not really uh, care about uh, those uh, tragic events uh, because it does not change a lot for the uh, financial uh, world. That's how this market is, is created. That's how this market uh, works. In overall, yes, it brings uh, kind of a negative scenario, uh, well, negative sentiment to the market. Uh, but it's not like uh, that that when we hear about uh, about terrorist attacks there's suddenly a risk of mode no it's uh, it's not like that anymore on the markets so now let's uh, take a look on the on the uh, charts so cable is uh, having a correction here sideways trend Mm, it was uh, kind of a reversed uh, triangle, but now uh, we can say it's a flag. A uh, flag is a trend continuation pattern. Uh, so we should uh, expect, I'm sorry, not this line, I wanted this line. So we should expect a breakout of uh, the lower line of the flag, especially that the sideways trend is created on a trend line. And I uh, say that almost always that when you have a um, sideways trend, when you have a uh, flat correction above uh, the support above the trend line it means that there's a willingness for a breakout and in my opinion that's the uh, most possible scenario right now that we'll have a breakout of the lower line of the flag and a downswing at least uh, aiming at least uh, here so 80 pips uh, lower uh, this uh, checkpoint here why this checkpoint uh, here is in my opinion uh, relevant uh, because we do have a correction quality patterns uh, here uh, we do have a 38.2 retracement of this uptrend and what we do have here is uh, well price was respecting this level here 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 so why not here so we have a mm, here we we do have a combination of uh, three supports 38.2 horizontal one from here uh, and correction quality uh, pattern so here i would uh, love to see uh, a bullish uh, price action uh, also, when I was talking uh, about the sideways trend above the support, look, it happened uh, on on cable recently, right? Last week we had a uh, rectangle above the horizontal support here, which was 23.6, but also a support taken from this top and this um, support uh, and this bottom and sideways trend above the support indicated a willingness for a breakout breakout happened now we have a sideways trend above the another support which indicates a uh, possibility for a breakout american dollar uh, to canadian dollar ahead of the data important for the canadian dollar so cpis is uh, in a bearish situation 
so uh, for this situation, for this technical setup, it would be better if the data was better than expected. It would be beneficial for Canadian dollar, so a drop here would mean a stronger Canadian dollar. There was a downtrend. We have uh, we had few correction quality patterns. Uh, flag, flag. And now we're having a flag again. A flag bounced off uh, 23.6 Fibonacci level with uh, creating a double top formation. Now we broke the lower line of the flag. We went lower. Um, now we're making lower highs and lower lows. Everything, every single, uh, every single factor here, every single element uh, here points down points uh, south. It looks like uh, the price uh, should go down after uh, after that. American dollar to um, Swiss franc. Yesterday I told you that it's uh, not a good trading setup anymore and the price uh, declined. Yesterday is declining mm, uh, today so this signal created by this bullish angle thing uh, is not uh, here anymore. Uh, and the chances for a downswing are uh, much higher. Australian dollar uh, to American dollar. Uh, so we had this initial reaction after breakout of the upper line of the flag, which was very positive. This correction was a little bit deeper than uh, than I was expected. Mm, uh, as you can see, we went almost to 61.8. Uh, but this aversion to uh, the American dollar uh, caused the retracement here and now we are fighting to come back above the horizontal mm, uh, support uh, here. Probably we're gonna have a few days of a sideways trend locked uh, uh, below uh, this uh, this uh, resistance and above uh, this support. Uh, so well as long as we stay above this uh, flag the sentiment is uh, is positive it's it does not look like the best uh, trading setup in the world. Uh, it's definitely not the best trading setup in the world. Uh, but still, we defended this upper line of the flag and it looks positive. Still. Uh, Euro to Japanese yen. Yeah, um, a few days ago here, we said that there is a possibility that uh, the price will create a head and shoulder formation and that's what the price is creating now. Uh, now we have to uh, think if uh, the neckline is this line uh, with red colors. If that's the neckline or uh, the horizontal one is the neckline, right? Left shoulder, head and right shoulder. Um, luckily, those two are almost in the same place here. Uh, there is no sell signal yet. That uh, breakout of maybe let me erase that. That breakout is not significant yet. Uh, but once the price will um, break the twenty three point six, maybe we'll have a bit of retracement here. That will be a good occasion to sell. So far, it's a bit too early to uh, sell that. But overall sentiment, well, long-term sentiment is still positive, right? Because the price is climbing since the the end, uh, the beginning of June, but 2016, so for over a year. Uh, but this uh, technical formation looks kind of dangerous. Uh, that uh, support uh, can be reached. Yes, that can be a good trading setup. American dollar to Mexican peso. Uh, boring, actually, not my type of trading because the price is moving sideways more or less. Uh, we are still below the uh, trend line. Uh, on a daily chart, the price created bullish angle thing here, which uh, can be perceived as a positive sign. Okay, let me lay that with yellow color. That's a bullish formation. Unfortunately, uh, for the technical situation, this bullish formation does not happen on an important support. If it would happen on an important support, I would be de I would be delighted. Uh, but it's not happening here or on an important resistance. It's not happening on an important uh, resistance either. 
uh, but once the daily uh, candlestick will close above this trend line that will be a buy signal and uh, definitely that bullish angle thing will sup would support that American dollar to Japanese yen, that is a good one and that uh, shows perfectly uh, the current sentiment here. So there is a risk of mode, traders are escaping to safe haven assets and um, American dollar, uh, dollar is a safe haven asset as well at some point. But it's uh, currently we don't have uh, this usual uh, escape to safe heaven assets because we do have this escape to safe heaven asset but without american dollar uh, which has problems with um, uh, the government with the trump administrations with the uh, with the white house uh, so uh, money are going to safe heavens without american dollar and um, american dollar to japanese yen is a perfect example of that because for the last three days, Japanese yen is much stronger, American dollar is much weaker. Um, what does it mean for the technical situation? Maybe like that. There is a downtrend, there, there was a symmetric triangle formation. We broke the lower line of the triangle, but we bounced off the support from uh, June. The price went higher, went inside the triangle again, uh, which was a bit unexpected, but we still had a relatively flat correction because we stopped on 38.2 also look at that how accurately that was okay we bounced off the highs from the first week of august second week of august and uh, we bounced from that that was also 38.2 we came back uh, below uh, the lower line of the symmetric triangle and now we're aiming that support again and by that support i mean 108.80 to this support we still do have uh, 20 pips and in my opinion the chances that we will break that uh, that we will reach that are very high and the chances that we will break that are uh, kind of high as well a break out of this support uh, should trigger a very important mid-term long-term sell signal This is gold, which is also a perfect example of this risk uh, on uh, mode without American dollar because gold is a safe haven asset which is quoted in dollars. So if dollar is weaker, gold is stronger. If there is a safe, uh, if there is an escape to safe haven assets, gold is stronger. That is why we should not be surprised that we beat uh, highs from uh, June, we beat uh, highs from April right those uh, previous um, uh, tops were 1295 not 1295 and now we made 1297 so we are on the highest level since you remember that spike yes that's uh, american elections uh, so we are on the highest level since the elections in united states and this is a very important resistance right it's a wide area located uh, between 100, um, 1306 and 1295 $10, um, $10 wide resistance uh, breakout uh, so daily candlestick closing above $1306 per ounce will be definitely a strong buy signal for gold but it looks very, very promising. Uh, traders on gold uh, can uh, be very, very uh, happy with the uh, recent uh, situation on this uh, precious uh, metal. Especially that what we are having now on a weekly chart is apparently we broke all, already this long term uptrend line. apparently because for me breakout of this horizontal resistance will be crucial here so that actually uh, that uh, breakout of that line can be actually the end of uh, the six years downtrend on gold if from the technical point of view upswing wedge upswing right will we see two thousand dollars per ounce maybe why not that's the situation 
and that's the uh, mid-term long-term situation on uh, on uh, gold so far it looks promising if we look uh, closer on a on a weekly chart uh, the breakout from the last week strong bullish candle here breaking the mid-term downtrend line and the long-term downtrend line all right that's pretty significant i don't think that many uh, experts analysts are um, are seeing this situation in the long term it can be very very promising for the buyers euro to american dollar uh, you remember from yesterday that we saw an ultimate support here created by this uptrend line and the lower line of the flag uh, also we have this yellow rectangle so the upper line is the support created by the top from 2015 lower line is the support created by the tops from 2016 and we bounce somewhere in the middle uh, using this uh, short term uh, support here that was defended the price didn't even test the lower line of the flag or maybe did if we put this uh, line like that why not we have to adjust our analysis to the market conditions so let's say that uh, the lower line of the flag is here as long as we are above this uh, crossing of uh, those two lines the sentiment is positive uh, once the price will test this and will create a bullish pattern and uh, that will be a very strong buy signal uh, as long as we stay inside the flag there is a positive sentiment but there is no buy signal yet so buy signal will be created in two cases first one is a bullish uh, pattern a candlestick or price pattern on this area uh, here or a breakout of the upper line of the flag one of those two should trigger a buy signal on euro dollar silver silver broke uh, the mid-term uh, short term actually short term downtrend line well for me it's a short term because it's a few days uh, connecting recent uh, lower uh, lower uh, highs and we are aiming the long-term downtrend line here so in case of the gold we al already broke that in uh, case of the silver we are still uh, trying to break it uh, on the silver uh, we are on the highest levels uh, since um, uh, January uh, since uh, June I'm sorry uh, as you can see this movement from the election was here so uh, on gold we are somewhere here right and on silver we are here so situation on silver is uh, worse than on gold s p 500 that's a, a good one because those drops are <laughs> almost similar in terms of what happened like those two candles are almost the same in terms of the price and the style how this uh, drop was performed now it's a question if uh, this drop will be corrected in the same manner as this one or not as long as we stay above the trend line and this gray horizontal support the sentiment is still positive and no no but nobody absolutely no one can be surprised if uh, the price will re reverse like a v-shape re uh, retracement because um, we all know that american traders do that do that very often euro to australian dollar came back inside the flag uh, but now this uh, the sentiment oh, it's mixed we are below the resistance made by the upper line of the flag above the horizontal support here so for me as a trend follower there is no clear uh, trading signal here a british pound to japanese yen shows you how a british pound is weak recently and show uh, shows you as well the um, appetite for safe haven asset which is reflected in the japanese yen uh, we broke uh, this uptrend line actually as you can see we broke this trend line tested it uh, as a resistance and that actually triggers long-term sell signal so on this instrument we do have long-term sell signal i would say uh, that there is a kind of a wide support here 
uh, most probably those latest uh, prices will be uh, will be uh, respected more so the chances that we'll get to this yellow support are much higher 360 pips I remember here I was given higher chances for the upswing but hey you have to adjust to the market conditions you have to uh, see clearly what the price is trying to tell you price didn't want to go up so why I should stick to the uh, to the uh, positive scenario if the price does not want to go up being a trader means that you are open-minded and you want to trade what the price is showing you I don't have my own opinion about uh, one particular asset my opinion is based on what the price is showing me, right? If the price was showing me positive signs, okay, fair enough, my approach was bullish. Now the price is showing me bearish signs and my approach is bearish here. Sometimes it can go uh, wrong, but at the end of the day, what you do is to earn money. Even if you're wrong uh, from time to time, I know that uh, the accuracy of my system is around 50% and I'm still able to make money month over month, quarter over quarter. New Zealand dollar to Japanese yen and that's also a good sell signal. Uh, traders uh, failed uh, to uh, break the horizontal resistance here which would trigger a long-term buy signal because of the investor deformation so if the price does not want to go up as they say, it will probably go down. Trend line here, still some space to the trend line. American dollar to uh, yuan, nothing interesting happens. Oh, here I wanted to show you a sideways trend above the support, right? That's a bounce, and that's a sideways trend above the support, which is indicating a willingness for a breakout. That's what I was showing you on a uh, cable, where probably we should have a breakout. American dollar to polyslotte. Although um, American dollar is a, should be a weaker, so so polyslotte should be stronger, right? Now we do have this aversion to emerging markets currencies, so. Uh, the outcome of that is a sideways trend for the last few days on hourly chart it will be uh, visible better so since the 9th of august the price is just moving sideways dollar index is showing you this aversion to the american dollar downtrend flag so the the next possible scenario is a continuation of a downtrend wti that's a good one. Uh, we broke uh, the uptrend line. We use that as a resistance. We used also this horizontal uh, level as a resistance, 48.15. Uh, uh, we came to this support, which was uh, broken, but now the price advancing higher a little bit. Uh, but the overall outcome of the situation is, uh, is a bearish scenario, right? And I would say that as long as we are uh, below uh, this area there is a sell signal uh, this area as well actually uh, but this will be the first important resistance here even despite the fact that uh, that can be a false breakout I would say that as long as we are below uh, this level the sentiment is negative and most probably this upswing is uh, is caused by a little bit um, by our American dollar which is a bit uh, stronger Uh, which is a bit weaker, I'm sorry, uh, but the overall sentiment for the oil is definitely negative. Uh, thank you very much for watching daily analytical report. Um, uh, next one we'll have on Tuesday uh, and now we'll have a short break and after that a webinar about candles and uh, price patterns. So we were talking about that a little yesterday and now we'll expand this topic and you will find really amazing technical patterns and candlestick patterns. Thanks very much for being with us. 
If you want more trading setups, occasions, you have to visit our Twitter account and our website, telparty.news. See you in a bit.